All right, so uh, this week or this weekend, Sydney and Adam got to go help our friends uh, over at the Fit Farmer, Lacey and Mike. They're our dear friends, and um, they asked us to come help with chicken butchering. So we got to do that. Um, I will link their video in uh, the description as well if they've put their chicken butchering video out. So uh, what did you think? What was your experience like? Um, I don't know. It was kind of <laughs> gross because I was the one pulling all the guts out. Oh, do you know what that's called? Uh, I forgot. Eviscerating? Eviscerating. Okay. And um, so that was the first time you'd done that, right? Yeah. Well, I did try it with Daddy once. Yeah. But I only cut the feet off. <laughs> right. Um, and so you was Sayla helping you do that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And what did what did she? What was her reaction? Um, was me she, and her both thought it thought it was kind of fun. Actually. Okay. Was she grossed out like you said you were a little bit? No. <laughs> Um, so, are you prepared to do that for our chickens this year? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we have 500 chickens to do this year. You gonna be able to do 500 chickens? Yeah, I get 50 bucks for every hundred we do. <laughs> so it's worth it to you. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, we have some stuff to do today. Um, it's actually been a pretty slow morning, which I wasn't really expecting because um, we've had a few very busy mornings with tomato customers, but um, we're going to do some transplanting of some hostas today. Are y'all ready to help me with that? Mm -hmm. We're going to mm -hmm. dig up these hostas and put them somewhere else. Okay? And we need to plant those over there somewhere. And we're going to plant some hydrangeas. Um, this is going to be kind of a little experiment because I've had those hydrangeas for weeks and they need to be in the ground already. Um, so I'm not a gardener. We're just gonna try this. It's all an experiment to me at this point. So we're just gonna try this and see how it goes. Um, if it doesn't work, then they were like two bucks. So I'm not, I'm not sweating it, but um, we're just gonna see how it goes because we have some um, landscaping we need to do <laughs> um, at the front porch here. And I'll show you what that looks like. this place for us to plant. We were going to plant, um, what, marigolds here? Mm -hmm. And um, now I think we're going to plant pastas. Not pastas. pastas. I didn't say pastas and hosta. <laughs> Crazy. So let's go get some tools, baby. Are you going to do this barefooted? Yeah. This has been a week of trying to get some things checked off my list that have been really bugging me for a while. And um, it's just been really busy around the farm. And so I don't like to start something unless I know I'm going to be able to finish it um, in like one sitting. And that has absolutely not happened. So I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and start on this whether I get to finish it all in one sitting or not because um, I just need it I need to at least start but that's just not my personality I just I love to have time and space and in the mental capacity just to do something and not be interrupted okay so can we find some diggers what do you think we should use There's not any little ones in there. What about a shovel? Where's a shovel? Right this, here. Will, this will work too. Yeah, that might work. There's a shovel. 
You want me to carry that, honey? Not heavy. So I'm not sure what we're going to do with the rest of them. Because we're not going to need a lot. You know? I mean, I had planned to put hostas here in this flower bed. But there's so much poison that we don't want to get in there. You know? So... Sure. Maybe, maybe, like beside the rocks, like right here or something. No, we're not gonna plant them in the ground here. This is real hard, and it's this is outside of the flower bed. I'd rather them be in the flower bed if we're gonna do it. I don't know. Maybe right here. Well, there's still there's poison on there. This is the front of our house. Um, you see how there's a good amount of brick, and I like to fill this space up with some taller plants um, so right now there's just Maybe. these bushes um, and the hostas and then there's like nothing here in the very center so what our plan is hold on please what our plan is um, is to transplant most of these hostas and I actually think I decided I'm gonna keep some of them in the front and we're just gonna we're gonna take up the ones that are towards the back of this side and this one this one's even bigger and we're gonna plant those hydrangeas maybe, maybe you took some of those. Mm -hmm. we're gonna plant the hydrangeas behind um, them closer to the wall and then for the center we are going to get um, some mountain laurel like a big thing of mountain laurel to plant right here so that we'll hopefully this whole space will be filled up and it'll be taller so that it'll meet the porch that's really my intent yeah. here is to have some bushes that are tall enough to meet the porch right here and there won't be so much of this brick that's exposed so you guys ready mm -hmm. all right let's do this What just happened? Um, I found this turtle that I painted like a his shell a year ago, and he's still alive and he's still around here. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's been at least a he, year he, since we've seen him. He's like our pet turtle. He is like our pet turtle, and he is like he's still alive and kicking, y'all. How about that? <laughs> he's still in our yard, having fun, eating stuff. Look at him. Look at his little face. Maybe we should make like a little pin to put him in so he'll be Nah, he, he'll he stay around here probably. I want to hold him. If he's been here for a year, I don't think we need to worry about capturing him, do you? I want to have him. Wait, I want to go show him. So this uh, side of the house does not get much sunlight. Um, it's, it's shade most of the time and when I was doing research 
Um, I discovered that the oak leaf variety of hydrangea usually does well in the shade so that's why we got these and um, they were really really on sale so if they don't make it because we're really late planting them then that's okay um, it's not a big loss but I really hope that they do well so we'll have to keep you guys updated and see how they do so we got two of these pretty um, snow queens that so looks like they're they're white or they're supposed to be um, they're supposed this to be kind white. Of pink. Yeah, they look kind of pink. So we'll see. That's always the fun thing about hydrangeas is just seeing the pretty colors that come, right? to transplant to the back porch. No, deeper. So as it turns out, we did get interrupted, but that's okay. Um, and then we got really distracted and started giving the dog a bath. So the kids are gonna finish up the dog bath and I'm going to go finish up transplanting these hostas. our back porch um, this is actually where we're selling our tomatoes off of the back porch we've got like a little covering here and I'm extremely hot and sweaty so I'm gonna finish this up and then I'm gonna go get a shower and um, be in the cool for a little bit it is so humid today and um, as you guys have seen I've been trying to get this project off my plate all day today and um, kept getting interrupted um but for good reason and um you know customers and a baby i can't complain about that so um but i'm glad to finally have this just about wrapped up so i guess that's about it for today thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time bye